Hey, I'm Josh, co-founder of Zuplo, the programmable serverless edge API gateway. In this video, I wanna show you just how easily you can add RBAC or roles-based access control to your API using the programmability and the extensibility of Zuplo very, very quickly and easily. So here we're inside um, a, a, a Zuplo project called AuthC for authorization. And you can see I have a route called uh, path one. And I've already set up API key authentication. So using our built-in API key auth here. Um, I've also already created an API key consumer. So if I take a look at this, you'll see I've set it up. So the metadata for this consumer one is has roles and has an array of roles. And in this case, consumer one has an admin role. What I'm gonna do now is write a custom policy that adds roles-based access control based on the route, um, the, the, the path or, or, or the, the route. Um, and we're just gonna do that right here, right now, real quick. So let's come in here, let's add a new inbound policy. Let's call it um, RBAC. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, user object on the request, because I'm gonna assume that it's been authenticated by the API key policy, and we're gonna check that we have the right role. And I'm also gonna make it so it's configurable so that you can set options on the policy itself. So let's create an option here called role required, and that's gonna be a string. So this is the options for my policy. Um, I'm just gonna leave that default name, but you can change it. And then in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, if request.user.data, so that's the metadata now, dot roles, and that we know that's an array, dot includes options dot role required. So if the list of roles on the user includes the role that is required by this route, then I'm gonna let the request proceed. And the way we do that in a policy is we simply return the request. It's a command chain pattern. So if I return the request, that signals to continue down the pipeline. If I return a response, however, it says shortcut the pipeline, short circuit, go back and send a response. So if this isn't true, then what we're gonna do is return a new response. You do not have the right role. And we're gonna set the status to, I'm gonna use a 401 here. Let's save that. And then the last thing I need to do now is add this to my route. So I'm gonna plug it in here. I'm gonna put it after the API key policy because uh, I need the user to be authenticated so I can check what their role is. I'm gonna say custom code. And I put in the name of my policies, my module name here, which is RBAC. And then I fix my options here and say role required. Now, if you remember, the user example I gave before was called admin. But let's let's create a, su a, a more powerful role called super admin. So in order to call this, we're going to need that super admin role. So I'm going to click um, OK here. I'm going to save all my changes. And I'm going to go over to my, my test client. And if I try and call path one, you'll notice that by default I got a 401 because I didn't specify my API key. So let's go and grab that. I have it already here. Let's just copy this over. And so now I get a 401, but I get you do not have the right role. And that's because my user had, a, my user had an admin role, if you remember but it needed a super admin role. So there's a couple of ways we could fix that if we want this to work. You know, we could actually change this policy to say admin is good enough for this route. Click OK, save my change, go back to my test here, and notice now we get a 200 OK. So uh, it shows that it's working. Or of course, I could have changed the user metadata to have admin. So what I've created here is a very, very simple RBAC policy. But notice you could do something much more sophisticated that really fits your model and how you think about um, your authorization system for your API. You have the full power of code here. So you can call other APIs. You can cache the results of that to keep your API super performant. You could have done, you know, you could have had a, an, an array of roles that were that were, were suitable for this particular route. Um, 
lots and lots of things you could have done. It's all just JavaScript or TypeScript, so lots of power at your hand. Anyway, have fun. That's how easy it is to do roles-based um, uh, authentic authorization with Zoopla.